Well, hey everyone, how are you? I'm back already. Didn't think I'd be back this soon with a video from Para, but they updated their app recently. And you can see over here on the left, I'm going through uh, the process of setting up the new app. So why don't you take a look at that and then we'll do a little bit of discussion afterwards. Okay, so Para recently updated their application, as you can see. It's 6.45 on May 28th, 2021. It's a cool 46 degrees outside, and we're going to take a look at those changes right now. So let's open up the app. And the first thing you'll notice here is right off the bat, it's asking you to update your credentials for the full payout feature. So what I'm going to do that right now, and see at the bottom there, it also says full payout is off. You can look at your offer history now. It's got your email address associated with it. It shows the offers that have come through previously. And it's got a frequently asked questions section where it will take you to their website and it'll answer your questions that are frequently asked about the app. Okay, so let's update my credentials here. I'm gonna tap update credentials. We're gonna put in my phone number. I'm gonna put in the email address that I use, then of course the password, and we'll update the credentials now. All right, so what you can do now is you can choose when to use it by tapping the full payout off or full payout on option. As you can see there, the big button there. So now if you tap the gold button, it turns green. It means it's actively looking for DoorDash payouts. Turns it on, turns it off. And it also says it turns it off after one hour without a trip. So we'll turn that off right now. Of course, your account information is still available and the accounts that you're connected to. The chat, of course, is there. There's not a local group chat in my area yet. You can see the chat. And then, of course, the earnings screen is still there. Yeah, I haven't done much this week, as you can tell. Been on a little bit of a hiatus. All in all, it's a pretty nice update. I really like how they make it easier to update the trip transparency. And hopefully we'll see more updates come, coming from them soon. Okay, so as you can see on the app here, um, it is really busy in my market. So we're going to open the Para app. We're going to select full payout on, and then we're going to go into DoorDash. We're going to tap Dash now, and we're just going to go till about 9 a.m. We're going to make sure uh, all check marks are checked. And probably what's going to happen is about 10 Walmart orders are going to show up. <laughs> so uh, my suggestion would be to go back into the Para app. And okay, here, like I said, look at that Walmart order. Hey, um, and what does Para say? It says it's 750, uh, no tip. So we're going to be uh, not accepting that one, are we? Yeah, 750 for 13 and a half miles. Decline, distance is too far. Okay, so we got Urban Roots Kitchen, 8.8 .8 miles for 750. It is a $4 tip, that's great. Um, but not, you know, for eight miles, we're gonna have to decline that. And again, the distance is too far. So what would be nice with these apps? Oh, got another one. 875 for Coffee House, 9.3 miles. Again, way too far. We're gonna just keep uh, doing the same thing. And that was also a zero tip. So distance too far. Be nice if there was an option in there that said no tip. <laughs> and another Walmart order, 654, 8.7 miles. That's a big no-no. Also, no tip. And we got Walmart again, 1050 for 16.3 uh, miles. At least there's a tip on there, but again, too far. Decline, distance too far. 
So I think John Dash the other day was talking about for some of these, one thing that he recommended was kind of a priority, um, a priority setting or a, a express express dash where people could pay more, whether it's a tip or an additional fee. Personally, I think it should be a, an additional fee, right? So have it delivered within half an hour if you're within uh, five miles, right? Um, and so that would be, say, an additional $5 fee to the customer for that. I think that's a good idea, personally. And again, I, I've said this before, I am not an advocate of no tip, no trip. What I am an advocate of is getting the most for my time and distance traveled. Now, one of the things I am hoping that we get soon from Para is a mileage tracker. Um, some other features I'd like to see, because I know Jimmy and David are probably watching this, is a um, trip estimator. In other words, how much did I earn per trip overall across all platforms? So DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grub, uh, Grubhub, uh, Lyft, Uber. And then how much did I earn per trip? So trip average um, per platform, right? So Uber Eats, I averaged $9 a trip. Um, DoorDash, I averaged $7 per trip. That would be nice to see in the app as well. So DoorDash doesn't seem to be sending me any more trips right now. <laughs> uh, you know, this is, UDM picked up on this, is that your active time, the more active you are on the platform, the more likely they are going to send you the good orders, right? So I don't know if necessarily that's that they're sending you the the good orders, but they're giving you priority because you're active. I mean, I think I just declined like seven offers in a row. We'd have to take a look at the at the screen recording to verify that. But when you're getting all these junk orders, which are too far, it's just not worth it. Now I'll admit the Urban Roots is probably an order that I could have taken. It's not 100% in the direction that I want to go, but it's kind of in the general direction. You know, if you made a 33 degree angle from my location, it it would have been fine. But that just uh, did not happen. It does not look like I'm going to get any more trips right now. I have to be uh, online at my day job by nine o'clock. So we are going to end this video. Hey, my name is John from Ride Upstate, reminding you that just because you're in a small market, you don't need to settle for small profits. And as I say that, here's an $8 order coming in from Walmart. It does have a $4 tip. Uh, 8.3 miles is a little too far for me to go, even though, again, this is in my general direction. Meaning, you know, the, the primary reason being that I, I have to get home. So I'm just going to let the timer run out on this. And until next time, uh, we'll see you. Bye.